Hey, what's up? This is John, and today I'm going to be doing a review for the new movie, Immaculate. So this is actually also a physical media review. I did end up picking this one up from my local library on DVD. The local library is a great resource. They have a lot of new stuff. You can put things on hold. And honestly, for me, it's kind of like the last video store. I'm sorry, but how much longer will this take? So Macula is a 2024 movie directed by Michael Mohan and starring and produced by Sydney Sweeney. The story opens up with a young nun who's trying to escape her convent. She pretty quickly gets stopped by a group of evil nuns walking out in formation, and what they do with her is pretty grisly. That sounds terrifying. And that's really all you need to know to start. They just set it up, this place is a bad place. After that, we meet our main character, Cecilia, who's a young American woman who's moving to Italy to join this convent after her church in America closes. Not long after she joins this convent and really just after she gets used to settling in, she finds out that she's pregnant in spite of not breaking her vows and claiming that she's never been with a man. The church interprets this event as a miracle and just ends up giving Cecilia everything that she needs. The only thing that they won't let her do is ever leave. So how was this movie? It was a total breeze. I really couldn't believe how quickly the whole thing unfolded, how economical the storytelling and the editing were. It's sort of like a great pop song that comes in at about the three minute mark or slightly under, where it's just so good that you have to listen to it again. It just got the job done so quickly and was really exciting and really satisfying. Most movies like this, tend to have a little bit more breathing room. They're slower burns, they build dread, and as a result, end up just having, you know, a, a few more valleys in their pacing. And this one doesn't really have that at all. I didn't feel like that's what God saved me for. Each portion of the movie, to me, had what it needed and not more. Honestly, this is not a complaint. By the time that the finale came around, which was extremely satisfying, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, I couldn't even believe that the movie was already wrapping up. And there's a big difference between leaving you wanting a little bit more and not giving you enough. And I would say that this movie falls firmly in the former camp. Sydney Sweeney is great in the leading role, and I love that she produced it too, and was a big part in getting it made. So I'd never actually seen Sydney Sweeney act until I saw this movie. All I really knew about her from seeing her everywhere on the internet was that she's pretty distractingly good looking. She says you're pretty. Grazie. And I think that that has a lot of advantages, but I also think that that has some disadvantages where I imagine that certain people want her to be not a good actress or not to be able to succeed or can't imagine that she would have to try harder because she's distractingly good looking, but she's great. She does the two things that she has to do really well. She's gotta be this fish out of water who doesn't speak very much Italian. I'm sorry. Who's coming to a place with its own set of rituals and there's all this strange stuff going on. And towards the end of the movie, she's gotta do some big, loud, body acting where there's a lot of screaming and running and looking fearful and just a lot of like really big emotive stuff. So she does this small stuff at the beginning and then turns it up all the way and does a really, really great job in both aspects of that performance. Another thing that makes this movie stand out is its score. It's maybe one of my favorite scores from the last couple of years. Because a lot of horror music tends to be pretty run of the mill and predictable with kind of boring orchestral stuff on the one side and imitations of John Carpenter's Halloween theme on the other. And this one's nice and robust and has a lot of drive and also a lot of discord. And there's a seamless inclusion of a track by Bruno Nicolai from I think a giallo film from the 60s or 70s. I'm not sure what the title was. If I figure that out in the meantime, I'll put it down below here. This is the kind of score that I've already listened to on its own. It's really beautiful and I'd highly recommend checking it out. So I didn't think that the movie was particularly scary and that's not really a knock against it and it doesn't lose any points for me, certainly. You know, I think that religion in horror is done to death. Even nunsploitation lately is 
kind of hitting a saturation point. So making the decision to be scary enough for some folks, but also to just make some entertaining and satisfying choices instead. And going for this very, very memorable finale was to me a great choice. Again, another thing that makes it really fun is while it is plenty gory and there are a lot of really long takes that do not cut away and I want to make a quick warning to all the fingernail people out there, it happens. No, no, no. And there's a couple of shots that linger for a long time on some pretty gruesome stuff, but I do like that it's placed pretty sparingly in the movie. They use it when it counts and I think that that is the kind of thing that keeps the, the fun level up the whole time. Another thing that gets bonus points for me is early in the movie they mention that the whole convent was built on the catacombs. Catacombs? It's off limits. And that to me makes me just go, can't wait for that scene in the catacombs. So the third act of this movie is very, very satisfying. I'm not really gonna say what happens. I don't wanna be super spoilery about this movie. I know it's new and I want you to see it, but I do wanna talk about it a little bit thematically because I think it's really interesting. So if you don't wanna know anything at all about the ending, even though I'm gonna stay vague, you should probably tune out now for a minute and come back later. So, no, so it's okay, it's okay. So what I really like about this ending is that I tend to enjoy horror movies where one of the themes is you can't beat the devil. That no matter how this thing turns out, if you're up against the devil, you know, what can you really do? You know, movies like Rosemary's Baby, Hereditary, very recently Long Legs. I just really like that stuff. I think it's cool. What this movie throws at you was something I did not expect, which is sort of twists this into you can beat God, and that's an angle I had never seen a horror movie take before, and they don't really even mention the devil to my memory at all in Immaculate, let me know if I'm wrong, but all the scares in this movie are coming from the weird pageantry, strict codes of conduct, and shady dealings within organized religion. And I think that that's sure to rub some folks the wrong way. This movie is a little bit like thumb in your eye about certain things. But if you're a horror movie fan, I think you're just gonna think it's satisfying. I think he has sufficiently prepared me. And so many horror movies have great execution two thirds of the way through. There's so many of them. When you haven't figured out what's going on yet, there's so much potential and it's really exciting and you're like, maybe this one won't let me down. And most of them do, but I don't think Immaculate does. It's one of those endings where you just kind of say, wow, they really went there. I don't think of it like that as a decision. So obviously a glowing review from me of Immaculate. It's just super fun. It just gets the job done in a really efficient way. It's great to look at. Our leading lady and producer is wonderful in the movie. So I would recommend Immaculate. Don't forget to check to see if your local library has it. And as far as Michael Mohan, whatever he's got coming up next, ready to check that one out too. Thanks for checking out this review. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Immaculate if you checked it out. Let me know if you picked it up on Blu-ray or 4K. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to give this video a thumbs up. And thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.